this, but... What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Well, yeah. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. This, uh, Their father never looked after them. This, Always uh, drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. All of this drinking. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children. And now they were taking away another one, you understand? foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. She. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I love I know him. I know how to If you only knew how nice. much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Don't get pushy. Come closer. Okay. Oh no. I didn't hear it. How could you withhold this information from me? Stupid game. choice I guess we've done everything so far let's just down it
have been sent to your phone. What's your poison? I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. It was a te poison. You've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. Well, this kid's done. gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. It's... The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Well, it will end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. But Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it.
Impossible. No, I see him. No. Oh, okei, okay. eikö se niitä mitä annetaan? Niillä eläköitä, niin bolli se. Öö. Okei. Okay. Onks tässä jotain muuta? <laughs> Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. they give for promotions to lieutenant the killer is a cop looks like the killer is a cop carter blake that would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame ethan mars Investigate further. Okay. Can I check whose cops live in this area? A cop. There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. Who was it though? He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Okay. Not gonna tell me. I see, I see. while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. Cryptic. Assholes. Ooh! She's really into it. Let's get the car. Get in the car. Okay, no. Ah, oh, 
Best dad, 2019. Mm -hmm. You mean it's Scott all along? Oh shit, he's sliding on his bench as well.
Meow. I'm gonna go outside. Outside? Outside. Oh. Can't see shit. Okay. Multi talented oh, journalist, I see. Um, yeah, I'm lost your touch, girl. Gami Killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. I'll go through it, room by room, but there's bound to be some kind of clue. smell of burning comes from evidence going up in smoke a cop's uniform always trust a cop that's why children went with him he was dressed as a cop Ooh, secret Compartment, you say. Origami. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with rain. Slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. Oh, shit, it needs a password. Origami. <laughs> A John. Um. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll look around you for a bit. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Exactly how an investigation would be carried out. How about a uh, one three three six as the password?
even more secret compartments. Okay, not this time. Oh, there's no one three three six as an option. Now, oh, fuck me. So, you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son. Shut up! You don't. Understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Get in there. Do I still get tries? Max. Got it. Oh, yeah. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Sounded the most alone. <laughs> this one, maybe. Okay. Um, what's going on? Oh, running out of air or something.
I guess there's no getting through that shit. Can I use the other card now, please? point of this I will live in the fridge Indiana Jones, yeah, you can survive an atomic bomb in a fridge. Easy. Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Uh, confirm. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. You got all that? Wait, I know of this already. I'm on my way to the warehouse. I Why would she have burned her clothes? She was in a fridge. It's cold. I want to live in a fridge. But it's kinda uncomfortable though. For a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then I remembered you. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. 
I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son! He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Give me the key, please. I'm guessing it's not gonna be it without the key. I need a thing with lever again. There it is. Come on, dude. Put your back into it. Shit at me. Take your positions. The suspect is likely to be armed and dangerous. All personnel are ordered to shoot to kill. Oh, now they're shooting. Shoot to kill. Ash, are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami Ash, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Oh shit. Like, start beating his chest. That's how it works in the movies.
<laughs> Have to go by Osaina Kalia. Nice. <laughs> Have a good one. <coughs> oh shit. He still live. Come and oh. save me. It only took me a couple of days. Sean, listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. Blech. I'm I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago. Maybe it's not an exact science, you know? <laughs> but the police will shoot you in the face. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it, for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. for nothing.
That's not really holding your hands up though. resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Oregon killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Oregon killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Well. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. <laughs> hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. <laughs> oh. of today's World Magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. He's done it. Fucking drug addict. There he goes. Thanks.
Yikes. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? We don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. <laughs> Understand. Um, I want to see them again. I'm a father, too. You didn't the newscast say he was 48 years old, and the tombstone was 67 to 2011, so 44 years. Fake news indeed. Oh, then the tombstone was wrong. Here was a lot of rain. Stay back! Don't come near me! Or I'll shoot! 